Hey YouTube, welcome back. Let's get into this tutorial. So the first thing I'm going to do is start my eyebrows using my Anastasia Beverly Hills Dip Brow in the shade Dark Brown. And I'm just taking a liner or an eyebrow brush from IT Cosmetics to go ahead and fill in my eyebrows. And I'm not going to overdraw them too much, but I just want to give them a nice, natural looking fullness to them. And I'm going to take this spoolie here just to clean up some of the extra dip brow that's in my brow hairs and blend that in better. Then I'm just going to take my MAC Concealer Duo to clean up my eyebrows and I'm mostly going to use that shade NC45 and a little bit of the NW40 just to clean up the arch under my brow and highlight that brow bone and then I'll clean up the top a little bit as well. Now I'm going to prime my eyelids using my Urban Decay Primer Potion in the original formula. And then I'm going to take my Becca Cosmetics First Light Priming Filter just to prime my face and give it a little bit of a glow. For foundation, I'm going to mix these two foundations from Shea Moisture and LA Girl Cosmetics. And um, one shade, the Shea Moisture one, is a little bit too warm and yellow for my skin, and the other, the LA Girl foundation, is a little bit too cool and red. So mixing the two, I feel, gives me a nice match for my foundation. Um, I have a lot of different colors going on with my chest being lighter than my face, but mixing those two foundations is a pretty good match for my face. I'm going to do that today. And also the Shea Moisture Foundation is a little bit too oily, so I have to go back in with a beauty blender to pat some of that away. Then I'm just going to take my MAC Pro Longwear Concealer in the shade NC45 and go ahead and highlight under my eyes, as well as conceal, conceal down the center of my face to highlight. Now you see me doing a reverse contour right under my cheekbones with a little bit of that concealer and then I'm going to blend it all out using a damp beauty blender. To set the highlight, I'm just taking some of my Durban Blend uh, Loose Setting Powder in the shade Warm Saffron, and I'm just going to pat that over all of the areas that I placed concealer just to give it a little bit of time to bake and set that highlight shade. Next I'm going to take my Black Radiance True, Com True Complexion Contour Palette in the shade Medium to Dark and I'm just going to use a contour shade from that palette and apply that just at my cheekbones right under them, um, under my jawline and around my forehead, basically the perimeter of my face. And now to blend everything out I'm going to use my Laura Mercier TLSP as sort of a finishing powder and I'm just using this e.l.f. powder brush to buff away everything. Now for the eyes, I'm going to use my ABH Modern Renaissance Eye Palette. And the first shade I'm going to take is this burnt orange shade and I'm going to use that as a very soft transition color. It doesn't show up that well on my skin, but using this very diffuse tapered blending brush, it gives a nice gradient that I'll use to go into other transition shades, such as this shade in the corner, Rialgar. And that one is a very orange shade from the palette, but I'm using that in my transition area as well. For a distant star, 
don't stop now There's a good stage to how we're safe from home To the neck out in days until the second call Is it gonna break our shade? Next I'm going to go into the shade Red Ochre and using a slightly more dense blending brush I'm going to take that more into the area right above my crease and I'm just placing these colors so that I end up with a sort of gradient going toward my crease. For the shade Venetian Red which is kind of a deep pink almost mauve color I'm taking that into my outer V and dragging it a little bit into the crease as well with a dense tapered blending brush. And then to deepen the outer V, I'm just going to take a little bit of this Cypress Umber shade and go ahead and place that at the very edge of my outer lash line. Now I'm using my MAC Paint Pot in the shade Painterly to carve out a semi-cut crease. And unlike my previous semi-cut creases, this one is actually at the true crease of my eye where my skin really folds. So it's a little bit lower than I previously placed my Paint Pot colors. But it ends up looking really nice for this look. Then I took the shade Vermeer from this palette and placed that right over the paint pot uh, kind of concealer that I cut out the crease with and that allowed that shade to really pop against all of the pinks and browns on my eye. To better blend it out I'm taking the shade Love Letter and applying that toward the center of my lid just to give a smoother transition between that sparkly shade, the Vermeer color, and the Venetian red that I have in my outer V. And here you see I'm just blending everything out with a diffuse tapered blending brush. And now I'm going into my lower lash line with a little bit of red ochre just to soften that up as well. Now I'm giving myself a winged eyeliner with my Wet n Wild H2O Proof Liner in black. And I did this off camera, but I also went into my waterline with a nude eye pencil. And then I went in and skipped the rest of the eyes and went in to highlight with Forever Young from my Anastasia Beverly Hills and Nicole Glow Kit. And I just applied that to the high points of my cheekbones and my brow bone. And I also did some highlighting on the center of my nose and my cupid's bow. Then off camera I applied some lashes from Ilure, and this is in the number 117. And then I went in with my Benefit Roller Lash just to blend my upper lashes with the falsies as well as define my lower lashes for this look. Now for my lips, I'm using my The Bold Brand Liquid Lipstick in the shade Praline or Praline, but first I went in with the lip pencil from that kit. And I love this shade because it's a very soft nude shade that also has a little bit of a pinkish undertone. And so here you see that I'm using the liquid lipstick from that The Bold Brand kit and I apply two coats for a nice, even, full finish. And that's all for the look, so I really hope you guys enjoyed. If you do recreate the look, let me know down in the comments below. And I hope you all go out and own this flirty, uh, fun, nude look for your everyday spring collection. All right, thanks for watching. See you guys next time.